Colton, have faith. What? He keeps on telling me he's bad at heckling. Uh, no. Come on. You can't do it. You can't do no. this. No. Do it. <laughs> Stop. You're heckling me. Say something mean. Uh... The news cycle has been dominated by Russia's invasion of the Ukraine, and the tech world has been a big part of that. We already reported on Russia blocking Facebook, but Meta has fired back by restricting and demonetizing Russian state actors, while Microsoft has followed suit by targeting outlets RT and Sputnik by removing them from Microsoft Start and banning their ads. Twitter is slapping labels on any tweet from Russian state media, and YouTube is demonetizing a number of Russian state channels connected to Putin and the regime. And Intel and AMD have both stopped selling chips to Russia after the country was hit by the import sanctions. Of course, it remains to be seen how much of this will curb the Russian aggression, but the chip restrictions will definitely be something to keep an eye on, as the Kremlin will definitely be missing the chip imports if more hardware is needed for applications such as military use and supercomputing. The Steam Deck was released last week to great fanfare, but just as everyone was getting their reservations in, it appears that Valve has already been thinking about a follow-up Steam Deck that has improved specs. Slow down there, guys! In an interview with IGN, Gabe Newell allayed fears of some gamers by stating that the current Steam Deck models will not increase in price, but that higher end models would definitely be on the table. Newell pointed out that in the PC space, it doesn't take long for computers to either become faster or cheaper, and so the more expensive Steam Deck with faster storage and higher capacity actually outsold the cheaper base model, even in this economy. With those factors in mind, Newell said it would make a lot of sense to keep pushing the platform's performance, but no word on when we might see a Steam Deck Pro or Steam Deck 2 deck harder. It's my favorite one. Like a nice hard deck, Colton? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Remember those old school computers where the system and the keyboard shared the same chunky chassis? Like a laptop? Well, it looks like Apple might be bringing that idea back into the modern age, but instead of it looking like an old Apple II, which was large and could place a CRT monitor in it, a new recently filed patent shows that a small, light, wedge-shaped keyboard that contains a full desktop PC with just one cable for data, power, and display out. That's pretty cool, actually. The idea appears to have something you can throw in your bag, take with you, and just plug into a display anywhere. Just add a mouse and trackpad. Apple is already promising quite a bit of computing punch with its high-tech doorstop, so we expect it'll have Apple Silicon like an M1 or M2 at its heart. We're not sure when this might hit the market, but hopefully for Apple, it'll find a real use case, as you could always, you know, just use a laptop. That's what I was saying. Why would you have a keyboard without a display and a trackpad when you can just, yeah, anyway. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by DreamHost, the company that helps you own your digital presence with premium WordPress website hosting at affordable prices because they have their own data centers. Whether you have a business, you wanna showcase your latest build, or you just want a central spot for all your content, DreamHost is the dream. They've got templates and website builders to help you get online fast, or a pro services team to build a site for you. Plus, migrating an existing WordPress site to DreamHost is easy and free. Check out DreamHost and save 67% when you purchase through the link below. Anyway, let's move on to the quick bits. If you're still trying to buy a graphics card, pricing is out of hand and very hard to stomach. But Tom's Hardware just reported that prices on eBay are down an average of 11% this month compared to January. But even with the drop, cards are still going for well above MSRP, the 3070, originally reached at $500, is currently selling for an average of 988. Ouch. But don't worry, you can make it all back by using the card to mine crypto. Woo! Oh, that's a boo. Uh, boo! Yeah, thank you, Colton. TikTok is known for having rather short videos, but ByteDance is actually extending the max length of the videos from three to 10 minutes. What? This follows last year's update, which allowed three minute videos from the previous 60 second limit. TikTok says it wants to give creators more flexibility and allow them to post things like tutorials, which will require more than three minutes. Personally, I'm hoping to see someone take advantage of these new rules and create the next 10 minutes of Mayo scene from Rocco's Modern Life. I don't understand that reference, do you Colton? Nope. I just want 10 minutes of Shrexophone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have an iPad and you're wondering why there's no dedicated Instagram app? There isn't? Meta has finally come out and gave us a reason. Not enough people want one. What? That's a terrible reason. 
The information was revealed after the head of Instagram replied to Marquez on Twitter this weekend. Instagram's team is apparently focusing more on adapting to how users are interacting on the platform, specifically how users are sharing more content on PMs than publicly. Apparently they do hope to get to it at some point, but uh, Lord knows when that'll be, and maybe it's right around the time we'll see Half-Life 3? Speaking of Valve, they haven't accepted cryptocurrency for payments on Steam since 2017. We're just finding out why now. Turns out it's not because Gabe Newell is just hates Twitter crypto evangelists. It's because half of the Bitcoin transactions on Steam were fraudulent, and Valve didn't want to have those people as customers. Yeah, fair. no crap. That's very fair. <laughs> Newell didn't give more details on the nature of the fraud, but it's clear you'll need to go somewhere else to spend your hard mined crypto with your $988 3070, dick. And the next pair of games in the main Pokemon series were just announced, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Oh, come on, the colors aren't even across each other on the color wheel, and anyway. As a tradition, you'll find the new starters, water, fire, and grass, and a new region, which this time appears to be based on Southern European locales, such as Italy or Spain. The games are due out late this year, so you might as well start compiling a Christmas list right now. Dude, how many of these things do they make? It's like four, three a year? They I don't know. On two more or something too? I can't keep track of it. I haven't even finished the last one. And that's our show, so come back on Wednesday for more of Colton heckling me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you suck. I'm just kidding, I love that, you. That hurt. Okay, oh, no. thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs>